My name is Sally Bolstein. I was born in October 25th, 36. I'm just 80 years old. My name is Leah Bodenstein. I was born on June 28, 1938, which makes me 78 years old. I was born in a town named Chernovitz, which was Romanian at the time, but later became Russia. At the start of all, I was almost one year old, and then we saw the Germans occupied Poland, where I was born. When I was two years old, the Germans came to, to my town home and they uh, started evacuating the Jewish population, including my parents, my brother and sister, and myself. After German occupied Poland, we saw what they start to do to the Jews. They start to turn apart the kids and everything my mother told me. And then we left Poland, we ran away from Poland. After we ran away from Poland, actually we ran to Russia. When we ran away to Russia, over there, they took us. They didn't know what we were coming, we were refugees there and they took us to Siberia. And we survived in Siberia. I grew up in Siberia until I was approximately six years old. We were walking, as far as I remember, from the stories of my parents for days and days in muddy outfields until they came to a place in the Ukraine which they built a camp like a prisoner camp and they uh, housed all the people that survived many didn't survive the long journey and the harsh journey the cold and the and the illness and the hunger we went back to Poland but everything we couldn't get to our house, nothing, other people were living there, so we have to leave Poland. So we have to leave Poland, we arrived to Israel. Israel was a new country at the time. And in Israel what was at the time was very hard life there. I grew up in Israel and then I was recruited to the army in Israel. And I was war, I was in a war in three wars in Israel. Until 77, we left Israel and we came to Canada. We emigrated to Israel. So I came to Israel as a girl of, I was 10 years old. And this was really the beginning, beginning of my real life. I consider myself as an Israeli to every aspect of the life because life before that was no life for me. All I knew was hunger and cold and misery. In Israel I started my youth, I went to school, I was a good student, I went to the army at the age of 18. I did two years service in the army. I met my husband, Salek, before the army. We went through the army together at the same time. We did get married after we were uh, finished with our duty at the age of 21. We started building a home in Israel. Then we started a family. My son was born, my daughter two years later, and my third daughter uh, five years later. We lived in Israel for about 27 years, and then we decided to try something new. We came to Canada. 
actually very happy here in Canada. And once in a while we go to Israel, we visit there and see how life is now in Israel. And Israel life is much nicer now than it used to be. And actually people survive and they're very happy in Israel. And we are happy also here in Canada. We have our family here and we're very happy with them. And we are proud of our family, my children, they, two of them doctors and the other one is master in business of this administration. So we are very proud how our children grew up and my grandchildren. And I have nothing more to say, just I'm proud of my life. These are old fogies going to celebrate their 59th wedding anniversary. When? Uh, February the 10th, in about two months.